Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Who the heck does that? Optimum personal hygiene. Optimum oh, yeah. personal hygiene. We've sold some similar to this. Hey everybody, welcome to another Family Flips unboxing. We have for you today an oversized Amazon General Merchandise box. Let's do it. I got my handy dandy. Uh, I got the same one. Box knife, it's not the same one. Mine's better. Uh, okay. Hi there, my name is Joe. And I'm Jessica. We are homeschooling natural living entrepreneurs. This is a story of how we balance it all for the freedom to live our lives devoted to our family and faith. Thanks for stopping by, subscribe, and come on in. It was a roller coaster. It was a roller coaster. There were some items that were worth nothing because they were completely busted and broken, and some that were worth way more than we thought they were. So make sure you stick around to the end to find out exactly how much we made on this box. So we've been buying, this is our second pallet of these. These come six to a pallet, and we paid $1,025 for the entire pallet. Uh, and then it cost us $300 per pallet to have it shipped uh, from the East Coast to here in Arkansas. So it's a little over $225 per box. So our goal is to at least double our money. So we're looking for at least $450 profit after shipping and fees. Let's jump right on in. The first thing I see is a big uh, booty pillow, I think. <laughs> that is a booty pillow, or it, back pillow. It is a booty one. Is it a booty pillow? Yeah. yeah, it's an Extreme Comforts large seat cushion with something, it's cut off. It, it's, a, it's a large booty cushion. It's very squishy. We're looking it up. Carry handle with a carry, because it has a right. carry handle. Let's go to solds. There's several of them listed. It looks like we have sold some $34.99, $51.99 with carry handle. The carry handle, I guess, is the, the thing. $51.99, $48.86, $32.11, $30. It looks like they're kind of all over the place. So I think what we'll do, end up doing, we'll price it for $44.99 and that making probably $25 after shipping and fees because it is a little bit bigger, but it probably weighs less than two pounds. Not so bad for a first item. 25 bucks. I love how some of these items aren't super exciting, but then they make a lot of yeah. money and you're like, yeah. And these are just some, oh, those are straws. I thought they were sippy cups, but they're like sippy cups, but it has the sippy straw. Is that what it would be called? A sippy straw? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. I don't know. Uh, so yeah. Little sippy straw right There's there. Three of them in there. And uh, we can sell these, the, you know, maybe 50 cents at a garage sale. Uh, we may keep these. I don't know. We'll, have we'll to wait see. And see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Uh, I've got an electrical, t ooh, an electrical tester. So fluke. you don't. Is it a fluke? Yeah. <laughs> it, it's not a fluke. It's, it's a fluke brand electrical tester. You know, for like making sure live, checking live wires and whatnot. Super important for your safety. These are expensive. Is that new? Um, I don't know, because the box doesn't have any tape on it. I don't think so. Just because it looks, I mean, Still okay, has the film it's on got there. the protective covering on it, but it is it is a little dirty. All right, so we'll look at used condition. Yeah. And safety. used condition, these are still selling for over $75 a piece. Dang! Yeah. $75, 82, 75, 102, 89.99. This still has the box and everything. So I'm thinking we could price this for 89.99 at least, get $70 after shipping and fees. So we're already at $95 the first 3 items potential profit, uh, okay. which is crazy. Okay. Okay. So we had a couple more little garage sale type items. Um, what is that? Some kind of connector. You know, the little plastic Iraqi, connectors. Iraqi, Iraqi. Um, you see there. Do you guys know what that is? Leave it down in the comments, cause I don't know. Four pin, 10 millimeter RGB connector. It connects red, yeah. greens, and blues. It does. This may be something that we could sell online, uh, but these little 44 candles right there, it's Hanukkah? Han Hanukkah. Uh, why is there a C? Is that Hanukkah. how it's spelled? Hanukkah. Oh. Hanukkah. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. Somebody correct me. I don't know. Yeah. I've always read it as Hanukkah. I mean, that is Hanukkah, but 
I didn't. I thought it. I didn't realize it was spelled I like that. I think it's spelled in two different ways. There is yeah. a way that I've seen it spelled with an H. All right. All right. Next. I bet this is a ring light. U B size. Uh, every time I've gotten something like this, it's always been some kind of, I don't know, ring light or filming. Okay, I don't think it's a ring light because there's. <laughs> Unless they there stole is the a, ring light. There is a tripod oh, in here. There's supposed to be a ring light in here. The ring light is gone. Yep. Yep. Look at this. Nothing. Nothing. Did they, at least they sent back the tripod. They didn't need the tripod. So that's fun. Fail. Fail. So this will be zero. Yeah. Because we can't do anything with it, but we can always use an extra tripod. So yeah. we'll just keep the tripod, I These guess. These aren't made very expensively. Yeah, yeah. They're just not, the craftsmanship on them is not very good. Uh, looks like we have an Adobe Photoshop Elements. Oh. Uh, software not sealed. So. so the thing about this is if this requires a product key, somebody's returned it and used the product key, then this is actually worthless. Yeah. So we don't really know. I can't tell if it does or not, but software not sealed. I'm sure it probably does, so you can activate it, and then you don't yeah. give the software away to somebody else who didn't pay for it. Most of, most things like this, they do that to make sure yeah. that you're not, you know, buying one and then giving it to, like, ten of your friends. I don't know how to find out if the key's been used, but I think we should probably find out. Yeah, how much um, is it? New, they're selling for about $100. Yeah, that sounds about right. Software but like that. used condition. Um, I filtered it. Used. Okay, so there's been five sold to used. Fifty nine, sixty nine, sixty four, ninety nine plus five, uh, thirty five, sixty bucks. Resale value so, is pretty good. Best case scenario, this the key is still good. Uh, we can list it for fifty nine ninety nine and make an easy forty dollars profit at yeah. the shipping and fees. Awesome. Yeah, I've got another little. Uh, I guess a little kid's rattle thing or something, like a little fish or something. Just a little bag here. And then we've got a 30-day uh, starter kit. Something for a cat. <laughs> that explains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like a... Diffuser. So it doesn't look like it has ever been used. So it's still got What's the thing in there. What's a diffuser for, though? That's my question. Yeah. You know, it diffuses. It makes sure that your cat and your dog don't get in a fight. Proven effective in 9 out of 10 cats. Makes your cat feel at home. Start to see results in 7 days. Okay. Helps stop scratching, hiding, changes, and urine spraying. I wonder how much that's worth. Were you, uh, I need the heat gun. Well, I guess I could, uh, just say what it is. But you got the heat gun there. What the heat gun does, and you can use a hair dryer. Um, it's a lot safer because it doesn't get as hot. But you can very lightly melt the adhesive on it, and you should be able to peel it off without damaging the barcode that's underneath. Oh, looks like a record. Tenor Madness. Uh, Sony Rollins Quartet and Quintet. What is that? Four and then five people. The record still is in there. That's neat. We don't get a lot of records very often. I know nothing about records. I wish I did, yeah. but I don't. No. I got this. She's got this. I got this. Looks like we got some uh, more records here. Looks like these may all be records. No, surely not. There's just two records. Three records? Yeah, but there's more right here, too, in these other boxes. I, I just talked about that one. Erica Badu. All right, so uh, looks like this is twenty to thirty dollars, so it's an easy fifteen dollars profit after shipping and fees for the little cat thing. All right, so records. I got Erica Badu. I got Tenor Madness. We've got what is this? That's cool looking. It looks like some kind of boy band. Yeah. We I don't that. know who that is. Then you got that one there. This is Strange Negotiations. Are the and the records are in every single one of yeah. these. A. A. Bondi, When the Devil's Loose. I don't know if you guys know any of these yeah. any of these artists, but no more. That's I it. wonder what these are worth. Yeah. Let's price these. Let's see. There's a UPC there. There you go. 
right, so we've got the AA Bondi when the devil's loose. Looks like we've got lots of lots of them listed in new condition. Uh, prices range 27, 32, 31. Let's check out some solds. But there's only been one of these copies sold in used condition for $588 plus $4 shipping. And then I have no idea what this one is. The night or 1975. The 1975. Self-titled. Yeah. yeah. Some kind of. Let's go to Souls. All right, this one's actually selling for quite a bit. So brand new condition, uh, which this one will have to sell as used. So let me see if there's any used condition. There's been two sold and used. Uh, one sold for thirty-three dollars plus five shipping in an auction. And then one sold for sixteen fifty plus three seventy five shipping. So worst case scenario twenty bucks. Best case scenario thirty eight dollars. Okay. And there's this one, Tenor Madness. The thing is, those of you who are really into vinyl, like, what is the draw for vinyl? Is it sound quality? Is the quality really good? Is this something that I need to look into and see if it's something that I would like? Because I do love a good quality sound. So let me know. One of these has sold on eBay in the last 90 days. It sold brand new condition, 27 plus four dollars shipping. So maybe we could price ours for like 15 bucks. Uh, used condition, it may be like new. We'll have to inspect it for sure. Here's Erica Badu. She is beautiful, y'all. Look at this. This is the back of her vinyl cover. Isn't she so pretty? She's like a model. All right, records are going for a lot of money. It's like brand new, uh, 37 plus 32 dollars shipping. Wow. Uh, Pre-owned, 26 plus four dollars shipping. Uh, looks like lots of new ones. Let me see if we can just find a use. Looks like there's been four used, and the prices range from 18 to 30 dollars. Nice. So nice. Worst case, 18. Best case, 30 bucks. Sweet. There's yeah. One more. This one's Bazan. Strange negotiations. Yeah, we're not finding this one. We may have to do some more research later on when we go to list it. But all the records, not too bad, not too bad. All right, guys, I see, I see a red <laughs> toilet seat. I, you know, I don't know if the red is gonna like lower the price because mm. who wants a red toilet seat, or if it's gonna be so unique that maybe it's worth more money. You know, you just never know with this. But it's not opened. It's a little dirty, but it's a right. toilet seat, so. <laughs> We've never tried to sell a toilet seat online before. Usually we get toilet seats, we usually just put them in the flea market booth. Pause, it's broken. Oh, bummer. It's busted. Oh, That's a, a broken $56 Look toilet at this, seat. Look how sad this is. You see this? Right along there, it is completely cracked. Bummer. That's sad. $56? Yeah, two of them have sold in the last uh, couple of weeks. Man. $56.43 a piece. I mean, like, you can make you can make a really modern look with a red toilet. Yeah. Seat. Go ahead and grab. Looks like, I don't know what this is. Satin pillowcases? Yeah. Ooh, oh, nice. I need a satin pillowcase. I know you do. Well, it helps with my hair. It makes it less frizzy. I like them because they're soft. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then, uh, looks like a beanie right here. Man. Under Armour beanie. Oh, those are cool. That's yeah. cool. That'll sell. I don't know whose head this has been on. No, oh, that's but true. It doesn't have a tag on it, but would you wear that? It's I probably... can't wear it. My, my yeah. dreads are too thick. It's probably a kid's beanie. It's a little tight on me, isn't it? Let's try Jolene. Who's Jolene? I'm Oh, yeah, it's a kid's beanie. Oh. Yeah. You like that? Oh, okay. Well, we were going to try and see. Okay. Okay, bye. I think we just lost the beanie. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally Jolene's style. She's like one of those little gamer girls. Um, it's totally her style. So she can have it. We'll never see that again. Well, unless it's on her head. Well, yes, you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, next. This looks like interesting. It doesn't look super expensive. It says Golden Groundhog. I bet this is some kind of toy. The box is open. And there's a Charizard deck inside. What? Okay, so there's a, a groundhog treasure box. 
and there's a Charizard card set in here. Congrats, you've won a free card binder. <laughs> Battle oh, Academy. Oh, so this is like a like the Pokemon card. Yeah. Like, that's cool. Does it have anything to scan? Um. No. no. Just type in a uh, type in trading card game Charizard deck and see what happens. Pokemon Charizard deck Battle Academy. It's a neat little box. It's like nine fifty uh, GX Pokemon hologram. That's an individual card. Uh, Charizard deck nineteen ninety nine. Um, yeah. Interesting. I, yep. This is probably going to end up being a really good find at a garage sale for somebody. Because yep. it's like, it's one of those, like, we don't know enough to be able to sell it, like, but if we put this out for, you know, a few dollars or whatever, somebody who knows Pokemon cards, who loves it, or is, is going to get a pretty yep. decent deal, I think. So we got a couple of games here. It looks like we've got Rock Rockstar. No, Ro I was gonna say Rockstar 360. Mm -hmm. It's a three. It's Rockstar. It's La Noir. L A Noir. L A Noir. It's a little game there. Not sure how much that is. We'll check it shortly. Looks like we've got a concentration. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry. This. Not that one. NCAA 2014. <laughs> Right? So what you don't know about NCAA 2014 was this was the last year that NCAA football, the games came out. The case is in rough shape. Uh, like it's, I don't know exactly what happened to the case. Looks like all kinds of crazy funky stuff is going on with it. You can see like that's all connected to the, to the case. But the disc is in there. And if the disc is good, these sell for $30, $40, $50 in used condition. Yeah, yeah because uh, they didn't, they, they stopped making the game. It, the value is going down now because they just renewed the contract to where they can start making NCAA football again. Uh, but it's still a good find. I'm actually more interested in this LA Noir. I was reading yeah. the back of it. It's like a, a dark crime thriller type game, uh, you know, and that's, I like to watch movies yeah. like that and stuff. And then the other game looks like we have uh, Watch Dogs Legion okay. for PS4, and it has been opened. Um, so we'll check some prices real quick. I like the way that little case looks, though. There. Yeah. I uh, see because it's on plastic. Yeah. You can't heat gun it off. How dare they? How dare they? Watch Dogs Legion PS4 Gold Edition Steelbook. So a lot of people ask us what app we use to scan the barcodes. And a lot of times we use the eBay app because that's where the majority of the items that we sell go. So you can download that in the Android store, the Google Play store, the iOS store. We also use the Amazon app. Uh, and then if we can't find it on those two places, the Google Lens app you can download in the Play store. Also, it helps us a bunch also. All right, looks like this Watch Dogs uh, pre-owned condition. There has been two sold in the last month uh, for $38 and $26. Okay. Uh, so it's looking like $25, $30 item for that. All right. Because of the gold edition. And then we do know about the NCAA football. Yeah, let's if you check want to it. scan it. Yeah, because uh, you never know the value since they announced that they're making that game again. And just to show you, in the last 90 days, there's been 1,556 copies of this game sold in used condition. Wow. So these are actually worth more than I thought. One with no box sold for $73 plus $4 shipping, $119 for mint condition, $89, $88, $85, $95. Um, just the box itself <laughs> sold for... Uh, twenty dollars a hundred dollars plus five shipping so worth i'm thinking 70 70 bucks, 70 bucks we'll probably price it for 79.99 and uh make 60 dollars profit on this after shipping and fees that's i crazy. mean if you had a really valuable collector the thing that's broken and busted is the is the case itself and the plastic surrounding it this cover is perfectly fine if you were to carefully remove it yeah and then you could replace it with another case and it would look perfect yeah this one is the la noir watch that one be the one that i'm the, the one that i'm most drawn to is like 
15 bucks. <laughs> LA Noir Xbox 360. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> In brand new condition, uh, $6. Looks like $1.50 pre-owned plus five dollars shipping six dollars free shipping six dollars free shipping so if we sell it for six bucks we'll probably make a dollar off of it uh which is what we probably make off of it if we sold it as a, at a garage sale <laughs> so i don't have expensive taste and this is an old pc game i don't even know if most games would even run that honestly concentration the classic game of mix and match pc not finding anything like it um four dollars <laughs> plus four dollars shipping <laughs> all right well there you go there you go folks <laughs> so we're about halfway through this box and i'm happy to say that we're at a potential profit now keep in mind nothing has sold yet so some of these prices may change when we go to list them we may look them up and they may comp a little differently but potential profit so far 250 dollars. so super excited about yep. that so let's just keep moving in. Right. Um, I'm going to pick this box because it looks pretty. Oh, it's a multimedia projector. And I think we've actually have some of those in, 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 in inventory. And uh, I'm going to open it because it's been retaped so that we can see the condition of it because this is not. I want to see. I want to see what's in. Come on. All right, yep. Yeah. So here's the protective plastic that it was supposed to come in, just sitting on the top of the box. In here is a carry case. So we'll go ahead and open this up. But this looks great. Uh, I don't even know that it's yeah. been taken out. No. Nope. So this, this could be a good sign it's a really nice projector too it's kind of got like this cloth covering on it it's like a blue kind of cloth covering on it yeah looks like and they're selling for anywhere from 70 to 50 dollars in new open box condition awesome so if we at the low end if we sell it for 50 bucks we'd probably make around 35 dollars profit um uh, good box yes yeah. this is a good box there we go put that in Neato. Moving on. And this is actually the lower model. We have another finger, finger, finger. <laughs> we got another finger um, in inventory, but it's not that one. That's a lower model. The ones that we have, it's actually like a Bluetooth model. And I can't believe what I'm seeing here, Jessica. Is it used? Yes. Oh, it is used. <laughs> you see those rollers? Like, who the heck does that? Like, they just needed it for a quick project and then they returned All it. All of it's been used. The paintbrush, the rollers, the little stir stick. It's all been used. So, I mean, we could keep the roller. Oh, I don't even know why you people do that. Yeah, it's a little weird. A little weird. I have a hmm, bike I know what that stand. Is. Yeah, it's a bike. Uh, I have a bike stand. No, it goes the other way. It bike. goes like this on the bike. And it's like a little rack that goes in the back of the bike. Cool. Yeah. yeah. You're like, yeah, it yeah. is cool. I mean, it's neat. We've, I say neat. We've sold these and it will sell, especially since it's, uh, hopefully if it has all of its parts here, only thing I'm seeing is that may be bent right there. I don't know if that's supposed to be bent on purpose. Uh, I don't think so. Like that thing, you see how thin that that is? Yeah, but I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or not. The, the piece of metal that's there, it's like all bent up. So hmm. we'll have to do some more inspecting. I just totally took that item from you, baby. I'm sorry. Here's a. This is not. This is not good. This is supposed to be a repair kit, <laughs> but everything is. Oh, Lord. I don't think that this is going to be sellable. The way that they put this in here, it's almost like they maybe tried it. But, like, the more sensitive part of the phone, which is right here, is completely exposed. and has been jostling around in this box with all these loose tools. So, I'm going to go ahead and tentatively call this zero. I'll look closer at it. But I don't know that this is actually going to hold its integrity. Yeah. 
That's a bummer. Yeah. That is a bummer. <laughs> what is that? Is that for a phone? Like a camera or? I have no idea. Like a, is it a cover? No, it's for your, you know, MacBooks? Oh, uh, so you can that's put It's like them. a, or even computer, uh, to go over your webcam. Like. Okay. I mean, I need one. I'll just keep it. Really? No, not one. really that you need to keep it, but really like somebody return that. <laughs> it's a little Ziploc bag. Uh, ooh, uh, acrylic painter, water-based acrylic paint pens. Ah. Jolyn loves these, so depending on how much they're worth, what she has she has plenty uh, of paint pens, but she uses them all the time. Is that J.R. White? Yes. I guess I don't need to do this if you just gonna look it up. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I guess that is cardboard, so it would technically be okay, but. I don't know if it has a UPC underneath there or if that's just the uh, Amazon label. I think it's the Amazon label. But let me pull it off to make double check and make sure. And it is the Amazon label. So many colors. I'm not finding that exact brand, but I'll have to specifically search it. But I mean, it can't be like, more than 20 bucks. Yeah, it's like 15, 20 dollars for other ones similar to that. Yeah, they're unused. I'm gonna have to look through every single yeah. one of them and make sure, but. Because some people may buy this just to use one color. Yeah. You know, but we'll look into it. It's a little bitty baby cow in the bag. What? It's a baby cow. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't understand why you would return a little cow like this. It wasn't the right cow. I guess. I mean, it's perfectly fine. It is. It is. What is this? Yeah, the box has seen better days. It's sticky. But it's a JBL. It's a clip speaker, I believe. Clip three. So you can like clip it on to something and it's a speaker that plays. <laughs> Looks like the, oh, oh. It's broken. It is broken. Yep. It is very broken. <laughs> Yeah, even the, the carabiner. Like, has this thing been in an accident? Because, <laughs> like, the carabiner is completely busted. It won't even close. It's like brand new. Those are sold in, like, uh, those are selling for, like, 40 bucks. But that one clearly is all <laughs> messed up. And, um. What are those? Filters? I guess so. Squishy pads? Squishy filter mm. pads? This is a. That's a filter. For vacuum cleaner or something, maybe? Our Therese, you wanna see that? I think it goes to a vacuum cleaner and it's got the label covering the label. And uh, if we don't get it off, we may not ever find out what <laughs> these are for. <laughs> but it looks like it may go to a vacuum cleaner just because the way that's curved right there. Well, if we could do some careful. I know. That's a that's a project for a later day. But. Yeah, we'll tentatively count this for zero right now because we have no idea what it is. It's like the stuff is either really good or it's not worth anything or it's broken, um, and that's what we've been finding with a lot of these boxes. It's a Ooh. five handset handset <laughs> five handset answering system with caller ID and call waiting. Now this was a cool thing yeah. in the '90s. You had one of these, you were fancy. And some of those phones still sell for quite a bit. Yeah, some people still have landlines yeah. and they, they, they want their landlines, so. Depending on the condition, we could have uh, brand new, it's selling for a hundred bucks. Uh, new other sold for 70 bucks, used condition. There hasn't been any sold in used condition, but there are a couple that are listed uh, for around seventy dollars in used condition. I mean, this could be. I'd have to look at it a little closer, but yeah. I know that the coverings for all the answering ah. systems and stuff, they still have the protective manufacturer's covering. So it could be like a new open box. Yeah. Item. I have to look at it a little closer. Pull everything out. Make sure it's all like that. Um, but so far. Yeah. It if looks, it is. It looks pretty good. Yeah. If it is brand new, we'll price it probably eighty nine ninety nine and uh, make $65 after shipping fees. I got a couple items I have no idea. Looks like that is a... Uh, something. A blow up something. 
I say blow it just because it has a little uh, air thing in there. Uh, I know it's Marvel. It's a. Um... You know what? I think this is one of those little punching bag things. For kids, it looks like it. Like you can yep. wrestle. I don't even know if we can sell that. That'll just be something Lucas can. I mess know. With. Yep. <laughs> and then this is a. Uh, I couldn't tell what it was at first, but on the tag it says JBL Flip. Uh, which is a, uh, a Bluetooth speaker. So this is like a little case that it can go into. Uh, it's got like okay. a little strap to it so you okay. can kind of like carry it. So that's what that is. Okay, what's this? Whoa. It's wrinkled and all crapped up. Death Note. I don't know if y'all watch anime, but that's Death Note. I've never heard of the Death Note. It's um. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not a huge anime fan, but I have friends who like anime. Yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, this is one of those things where it's like there's this little black notebook that if you write in it, it's like there's a there's like a demon that's attached to the black notebook, and then that notebook, if like you write somebody's name in it, they die. So, something something kind Sounds of Sounds like scary. It's very popular. I do know that. Like if you watch anime, you've heard of Death Note. Evidently, the cows were twins because uh, there's the another twin one. Cow. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Look at this. I'm scared note? to, I don't know, I'm scared to open it. I think it's cheap. Village King. Like, why did they return it? Hopefully it's because it didn't fit and not because there's something gross on it. I don't know, there's no way Smell really. it, smell it. They smell like uh, they've never been washed. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right, well, so, this will be something we'd have to open up and double check and yeah. see. And then um, determine, is it worth trying to sell up online because it doesn't have the original packaging? Then can we actually sell it in brand new condition? No, the exterior has a little bit of dirt on it. Might be a, so, what's it called? Garage sale. Yeah. Garage sale item. At this point, some of you may be wondering why there are some items that we choose not to try and sell online. It all has to do with time. Is that there's some items that are gonna take a lot of time to test, to clean up, to do all of those things. And we may only make $2 and our time is worth way more than $2. So we would rather just sell those items at a garage sale for a dollar, maybe $2. And that way we can spend the time that we do have now listing more profitable items that might bring us $50 in that same amount of time versus the $2 potential profit for that item. So we have two sets of uh, HDMI cables. Uh, there's, uh, I don't know exactly how long this one is, uh, but it's got some information on there so that we can look it up easy uh, and sell it. And the shorter one, I know HDMI cables, they can go anywhere from 10 to 30 bucks depending upon the quality. So that's what we'll look at for these. I'm trying to figure out what this is. This is a clamp. It's a very used clamp. A little seed clamp. These look like tent poles. Yeah. Okay, it says Lakusha 12 foot balloon supplies decoration. Okay, that makes sense. This is like a thing, I, but these are tent poles because they're all connected. Yeah. So we've got tent poles, connectors, and a clamp that came out of that bag. Maybe, uh, okay. So it probably clamps on and then those, that goes into here what it looks like. And then this? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it goes down to that hole right there. It looks like the, the the right diameter. But what you do with it, I have no idea. Do y'all know? <laughs> nope. Yeah. So strange, so strange. That's this is a. Uh, Does that say Surface Pro on it? Microsoft Surface. Oh. Oh, it's a dock. Ooh. It's a dock. It's got like the the Ethernet cable. It's got some. Uh, what are those called? USB Cs. Mm -hmm. And then it's got some regular USB attachments on it. That's nice. Microsoft Surface Dock Two. 
Please be in great condition. Please be in great condition. Please be in great condition. Okay, I think it's in great condition, y'all. This... <laughs> it searched nice because you said nice. It's used. I, I think mm -hmm. it's used um, just because it's kind of, it's a little scratched up. It's not in like ideal perfect condition, but it's got all of the connectors in here. It's in a pretty decent, you know, thing. It's got like the, it's got the cable that hooks into the wall, the adapter. So we can sell this used. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the first one, one sold today, used condition for $120. Yes. I just hope this so thing works. So $120. Uh, 50 bucks, um, 90 dollars. It looks like the Doc 2, one pre owned with a box, sold for 140 dollars. Yeah, so it's the Doc 2 uh, that we're looking for, which is the higher end one. So that is awesome. So that could, as long as it works and everything, that could be t potentially a hundred dollar profit right there. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Is that a bidet? That is a bidet. Woo! Fresh water bidet for optimum personal hygiene. Optimum yeah. personal hygiene. We've sold some similar to this. They're only these particular ones are only selling for like 25, 30 bucks. Uh, so if it's brand new condition, it doesn't weigh a whole lot. So if it's brand new or even new open box, um, which I'll find out here shortly since I already committed to opening it up. But it looks like this one's been used before. Uh, I'm not going to touch it because there is yellow on this piece of paper in here. Uh, that shouldn't be on there. But does it smell? No. Just close it. Just close okay. it before the smell escapes. We're not smelling it, Tom. <laughs> but uh, that looked to be used. Uh, and why there is yellow on the piece of paper, uh, it couldn't have been pee because pee wouldn't dry like that. Here's an LCD replacement repair kit for an iPhone. All right. So there you go. That's the old yeah. model. There's only selling for maybe ten bucks, but I'm seeing on here this little sticky here that says Amazon. It says thanks to you, this product has a second life. So this is comes from Amazon warehouse deals. Um, yeah. So I'm, I don't have high hopes for this, but it is a. It looks like an external. No, it's a CD. Is this a floppy? Is this a floppy drive reader? That is. Bro, <laughs> that's old school. See that? It's a floppy drive reader. Yeah, that's what it looks like, man. <laughs> Do computers even read that? How would they even read that? Well, through this. I thing. know that. Yeah, but I have no idea, man. I mean, I also still don't have. I don't have a floppy drive at all yeah. to test it, and I don't. You know, because it came from Amazon Warehouse, there's no telling. None. If this thing works or not, so I don't know. I'm gonna call it a tentative zero, but I wonder how much something like that would sell for. I have no idea. You should find out real quick and just see. I mean, even not brand name. I mean, the brand name is Chuangdangzuo. Sh Floppy disk external drive. Eighteen bucks, nineteen dollars. Okay. But that's what that is exactly. Nineteen ninety nine, brand new. So, yeah. So we got a couple of, uh, I guess I'll grab one. It's a toggle switch, uh, 4.0, it's like a light switch, it looks like. I think it has a UPC on the side. Yep, light switch. Some of these light switches it's are actually It's not really worth... a light switch, it's like a toggle. That's why you said it's a toggle switch, because it doesn't ah. go click, 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 it just... But in another box, we had some it's got light a little, switches. It's got a few scratches on it too, so it's not perfect condition either. Well, it doesn't even work then. Yeah. You know, it's like toggle switch been returned. It has signs of use on it. And uh, there's none. Looks like brand new $25, $19, $19. So it's one of those things we'll have to look at it, see if it's easy to test, which I have no idea. I think it's your turn. I was about to grab an item. Another screen phone repair. No, yeah, and the screen is cracked and broken. Uh, it's broken. So this is. Total zero. Total, Total zero. zero. Looks like we have a remote control right here. It's like one of those generic remotes, uh, which I could probably test this out. Those usually sell for, I don't know, 10, 15 bucks. And then we have an Amazon Basics HDMI to VGA adapter with an audio port right there. Those usually sell five to $10. Sweet. 
If you're watching our unboxings and you think that this might be something for you and your family to do to make extra money, check out the description down below for our ebook, How to Start Flipping Liquidation Pallets with Little to No Investment. Get your copy today. I've got a, we're nearing the end of the box. We've got yeah. one, two, three, four, five. We've got six items after this one. So this is a Black Shark Pro uh, wireless Ooh, sports headset. Razor. Um, I, I think it's been used, it, but it's still in great condition. Like yeah. it's not totally damaged. It hasn't been heavily used. Maybe somebody tried it, didn't like it, or maybe it doesn't work. Or they thought it was wireless. It is wireless. Guess, okay. This is, I think this is the charging cable yeah. that goes with it. All right. Um, it's a nice little headset. <laughs> this is expensive. Is it? Yeah. Everything in this box is either broken or expensive. A dollar or uh, $120. So brand new, $155 just today. Dang. Uh, 110 used, um, 115 open box, 125 pre owned, 139.99 pre owned. 132 pre-owned so pre-owned with the box looks like it's a hundred and thirty something dollars so if that's the case we should be able to easily sell it for 139.99 110 dollars profit after shipping and fees if it works if it works but the, it looks promising i will say that it does look promising moving on i grabbed two items because one is just stainless steel drinking i love a good straws. stainless steel drinking yep. straw if these are good i'm keeping them and then looks like we have a 1080p full HD uh, camera. <laughs> My mind went blank. Uh, <laughs> Nexigo, Nexigo, Nexigo. Oh, look at their iridescent. Oh, that's cool. Look at these, y'all. They're all different colors. Oh, yeah. I love it. I like drinking out of straws, but I don't like throwing straws away, so. It's like brand new. This is selling for like 40 bucks. So if it's used condition, probably price it for like $19.99. Okay. Make $12 off of it. I've got what looks like a bicycle seat, I think. Uh, it bicycle says, seats can be expensive. Pain-free, absolute. No ure ureal. No rear end. Ure ure urinary. Ure what is it? Urinary? Ure no, ureal. Urethra. Ureal. No ureal obstruction. Uridal. Look on the Amazon. Uridal. Uh, I just want the barcode. Hmm. I just want to open the box. It's Aero A E R O elastic. Aero elastic. Ooh, it's been used. Oh. It's very dirty. The mm. bottom of it looks like they've been riding in the dirt. Um, it's very interesting. It's a very interestingly designed seat. So, uh, I'm assuming, you know, so that you're not sitting on your urethra, I guess. And then you can see the back. Uh, I'm hoping that you can see all the dirt and the debris that's in there. I don't think it looks as bad on camera as it does in real life, but definitely, I mean, it's definitely resellable because it's, it's in good condition. It needs to be cleaned up, um, depending on how much it costs. Because if it doesn't cost very much, it's not worth the time when we could be mm -mm. listing or doing things that cost that make us more money in the in the long run. So, kind of trying to balance our time. There's none available on Amazon anymore. It has price unavailable. Uh, I didn't find any on eBay. They do have a website though. Yes. It's See, uh, with the website. Well, I'm on there now. There it is. It makes me nervous because you can't find the price right away. I know. It's like you got to keep. But that's also like might be a good thing because they don't want to tell you the price because it might be worth Buying it. Buy in our web shop. It says 150 euro. This is something we're going to have to do more research about. But on their website, they're charging 150 euros for it, which is probably like $120 or something. Um, or $175? No, I think like $125 or something. I have no idea, but ah, who knows? Who knows? Is it my turn? Oh, sorry. So this is a, a ceramic space heater, one of the personal ones, and right up the top, it is broken right up on the top. Bad. So the control things are broken. Ooh. Ooh. That is a microphone for an, a phone. Oh. 
uh, for an iPhone and iPad. That's cool. That looks nice. I wonder if that how well that works. Just just getting ideas here. She's a TikTok star now, you know. Whatever. <laughs> I'm learning to like TikTok though. I will say. All right. So to go with the trend of the box, everything is either broken or a hundred dollars. <laughs> how much is this? Uh, one sold just two days ago, brand new, ninety nine ninety nine. It's like we have another one sold last week for a hundred bucks. You've got one new open box sold for eighty dollars. My goodness! Even in used condition, they're selling for sixty dollars. So it looks like uh, you know ninety nine ninety nine, and should easily make eighty dollars after shipping and fees. Sweet. Yeah. We got one more item left, Joe. What is it? It's a Rainbird um, module, Rainbird irrigation uh, Wi-Fi plug module. And um, looking at it inside, looks like just a little module right there. I, I don't know. Uh, Why? I don't, you know. I don't understand. I don't know. Somebody explain to me what a rainbird is. Let me look it up. You know, hold that. Rainbird. All right. Automatically adjust for weather. What? Rainbird. It irrigation. looks brand new. Irrigation. Automatically adjust for weather. 30% water savings. It goes on a phone. All right. So either way it goes. Uh, it looks like $80 brand new, $81.95 brand new, $70 brand new, $64.99 open box. So it looks like, you know, we'll, we could price it for $79.99 and uh, $55 profit potentially after shipping and fees. It doesn't, okay, it doesn't go on a phone. No. It connects to a phone via Wi-Fi this module goes on something else that controls irrigation. Yeah. I'm like, why do you need to control irrigate? I yeah. get, okay. Got it. Good. We're good. Yeah. I got it. All right. All right. So now let's find out how much we potentially made. Let's find out. Let's yeah. find out. BRB. Be right back. Y'all ready for this? Go ahead. Yeah. So I don't know if y'all remember all the records that we got earlier. We thought we'd make about $55 profit on those. We had the Fluke electrical tester that we think we'll make $70 profit on. Don't forget the headset. The headset, that's $100 bucks right there. $110 potential profit. The fun thing, this one right here, the Microsoft Surface Pro Dock 2. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Another hundred dollar profit. So we ended it up and we had lots of broken items. Yeah. Lots and lots of broken items. It was items. so bizarre. It was like either broken, like a dollar, or it was worth over yeah. over 60, 70 bucks. It was yeah. very weird. It was crazy. So it was like a roller coaster uh, of items. But doing the math, five hundred and ten dollars potential revenue after shipping in fees, which gives us remember we paid two hundred and twenty-five dollars mm -hmm. for the box. We bought a whole bunch of boxes, but each box 225 bucks for a potential profit of $285, even with all of the broken stuff. So we more than doubled our money, which is the goal. It's always what we want. Plus, it could be more depending upon this seat right here. Like that number doesn't even include this seat. So it could be another $50, $60, or it could be another $10. Who knows? So we're super, super excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you're interested to see how these items sell, don't forget to check out our vlogs. We post them multiple times a week. And we also uh, post more unboxings. So if you're interested in watching those, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Until next time, friends. Peace. And action. <laughs> I like the numbers. Yeah, I forgot we were gonna write some of this stuff down. Let's write so, some cushion of the stuff down. 25, Cause we yeah. gotta keep up with the prices so we can know how much we made. Potentially, potentially, potentially. It's like Tinner has only one, only one have la la only model and model something creepy. Yes, and of course it won't focus. It won't. How dare it! In the Amazons are the. Let me start over. Rewind. Let's stop and start again because it's going to stop recording in like six minutes. All right. No, not feed this.
<laughs> Feed this external drive. <laughs> you see we're at odds. What are we gonna do? Potentially. <laughs>